guys, what is going on? It's Diggory here today, and today I'm not actually going to be playing Battlefront 2, but I've actually got a top 5, and uh, I've had to think long and hard about this one, um, but it's uh, top 5 great things about uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. So before I get started, I just want to say that none of these things are in order of best to worst. I could, I didn't know how to order them because they're all, they're all quite good things to be honest. So in no order whatsoever, let's begin. Coming in at uh, number one, we have the graphics. Now the graphics for the game are so nice. They're so nice to look at. Um, half the reason I play the game is because it looks so nice. The first game looked really nice and I feel like they actually managed to step it up just a bit more with Battlefront 2 uh, and that's with the lighting, shading on the maps, on the players, all the players look really uh, well modelled, it's just it's just such a nice game to look at. Uh, the second thing that's great about Star Wars Battlefront 2 would actually be the sound effects, so the blaster sounds, the, the ship sounds in Starfighter Assault, the, uh, the lightsaber sounds from the heroes. Uh, it's all it's all really nice. It's so it's basically heaven for your ears basically. That is what it is. It sounds so nice. But the number one sound has to be the seismic charge from Slave One. Oh my days, it's such a nice sound. Like how it, the audio just stops and then you get like that boom. It's the nicest sound. I'll probably do a sound clip now or something just showing it. It's so Nice. Shut him down. Um, now the third thing that's great about Battlefront 2 is the battle point system for heroes and you know rocket troopers and stuff. I think that's really well thought out because in the first game you it was completely random luck. You had to find like a little hero card just spinning around on the floor. Same with ships actually, you just had to find them hope for the best, hope that nobody gets there before you. But with this, it's like, it's rewarding you for playing well, so the better you do in a game. So, I mean, you get most score for playing objectives, so it's sort of like saying, if you play the objective, we'll reward you with, you know, heroes and stuff. Uh, and the 6,000, 8,000 points are actually doable. You know, they're not so hard that you have to play consistently with like a KD of 10 to get the battle point to unlock the heroes, but it's not so easy that you can just like play around for five minutes, get like two kills and three assists and be able to get hero. It's, it's actually quite nicely balanced in my opinion, and I think they've done it really, really well. The next uh, point is number four. Now this one uh, I actually got from Reddit. I put a post on Reddit, Star Wars Battlefront Reddit, uh, asking uh, people what their best thing about the games was and there was a few people that actually said the maps and the maps are well thought out and to be fair I have to agree they are well thought out with um, corridors and turns and stuff so a lot of the maps are actually good for whatever class you're using uh, if in like I'm talking galactic assault sort of way if you're playing blast you know you don't really want to use a specialist when you're playing inside the Death Star it's there's there's a long open range, but it's, it's just not appropriate. Uh, but when it comes to Galactic Assault, the maps are perfect for pretty much any gun class that you're using. And I think they are quite well thought out as well. So that brings me on to the, the last uh, great thing about Star Wars Battlefront 2. And that is the changes to Starfighter Assault. Um, now in the first game, it was very zoomed out. You didn't have too much control, you know, you pressed the button on the D-pad to do manoeuvres around, which was cool, but in the new game, it's much more, uh, I think inversive is the right right word. If it's not, I'm sorry, that's the word I'm going with. Uh, it's much more zoomed in, the camera angle, so, you know, moving around, it's, it's, it feels like you're actually controlling it rather than watching it being controlled, if you know what I mean. And the controls are much better as well, like with their uh, analog sticks. It's like helicopters in uh, Battlefield. Uh, so they've you know, they've taken some inspiration from the Battlefield game and put it in Battlefront 2, which is really nice. Now, another great thing about Starfighter Assault is the maps as well. I mean, I said the maps previously, but flying through space debris 
and like turning and doing all your own maneuvers and stuff, trying to get away from missile lock or an enemy ship that's, you know, pursuing you and just weaving in and out through debris is, it's so fun. It's so fun. I have to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Starfighter Assault, but when I think about it compared to the last game, it's such an improvement. It's such an improvement. And that's why it's it's on this list. Uh, so yeah, guys, it's very quick, this video. I know, I know it was very quick, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more uh, top five sort of stuff from me about Battlefront 2, uh, please leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for Battlefront 2 stuff. And yeah, so guys, this has been Diggory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.